Church of SDFU. So this is going to be a video responding to Concordance, uh, who made a video about why critics of uh, Draw Muhammad Day and Thunderfoot and himself were committing a guilt by association fallacy. And the problem I have with that is that I think Concordance is not entirely um, understanding how the guilt by association fallacy works, which is regrettable since if you actually use a fallacy incorrectly you're basically committing a fallacy by using a fallacy which is a fallacy fallacy which is a fallacy squared which is quite serious and will get you put into logic jail um, <clears throat> so what's the problem with trying to make out like we're uh, using a guilt by association fallacy it's that a guilt by association fallacy, like all other fallacies, have a certain logical form. And that logical form is premise A is, um, is a B, premise A is also C, therefore all Bs are Cs. One example of this fallacy is Hitler was a vegetarian, Hitler was a genocidal maniac, therefore all vegetarians are genocidal maniacs, which... Uh, again, atheists have heard this kind of thing before. Stalin was blah, blah, blah. Uh, Stalin was an atheist, therefore all atheists are blah, blah, blah. That's guilt by association. Now, that's not the argument that us critics are making. We're not saying that Thunderfoot wants Muslims to respect free speech, Nazis want Muslims to respect free speech, therefore Thunderfoot is a Nazi. That's not the argument that I've seen anyone make. No. What we're saying is that Thunderfoot at least claims he wants Muslims to respect free speech. He then creates an event that is designed supposedly to make Muslims respect free speech. But Thunderfoot does little or nothing to dissuade that event from being gratuitously offensive towards Muslims, from portraying them as uh, terrorists from uh, associating them with pedophilia and various other nasty, nasty things. Critics think that an event which is comprised to a large part, and if you want to challenge that large part, then please see my video on Draw Muhammad Day 1, which is called Draw Muhammad Day 1 by Examples, where I go through a representative sample set of Draw Muhammad Day 1 images. If you have an event that is primarily offensive and primarily um, not making a fair case, then critics believe that that will create a rift between moderate Muslims and non-Muslims, will offend Muslims, will not make them res respect free speech, and in addition, it's also a dick move. Putting these together, therefore, Draw Muhammad Day and similar events will be gratuitously offensive to Muslims, will not make them respect free speech, will create a rift between moderate Muslims and non-Muslims, and are also a dick move. Notice that in none of that argument have I linked the premise that Thunderfoot was putting out there with some bad element and then concluded that they that because they share some premise they're the same so I'm not committing neither were D. Landon Cole or I believe it was Brian Toulouse or many many others committing this fallacy we were just asking Thunderfoot to call out people that were being dicks that were participating in his events that's all we were doing and that is not guilt by association um, so, no guilt by association there. Another thing I wanted to bring up was the example um, that Concordance gives to show uh, how unfair we are, which is protests against Bush, where there were, like there always are, a couple of black flag anarchists who break things, set things on fire, 
attack a police car, and then Fox News brings the inevitable report of all left people are terrible, crazy anarchists that want to kill babies. Um, the problem with that comparison is, of course, that those black flag anarchists, there's usually a handful of them in such a protest. There's 20, 50 of them in a protest of tens of thousands. They do some damage, so that's why they get attention. But out of the total contribution, they are a small, small part. That's the first point. In my Draw Muhammad Day by Examples video, I analyzed a representative sample. And the bigotry and the hatred was not a small part. It was the majority. So, it's not like you're marching in a march against Bush with 9,990 other lefties that want good and 10 black flag anarchist assholes that want to break shit. It's like you're marching in a march with 3,000 people that have good intentions and 7,000 people that are in the BMP. In that march, your participating is far less uh, defensible, right? I mean, I think we could all agree. That's the first point. The second point is that in that march, in those kind of anti-globalization marches and all of those other marches, the crowd, all of the people that are not the black flag anarchists, usually make it clear that they dissociate themselves from that small minority of people that are being dicks. The protest organizers will explicitly say that they disown those people, they don't want them to be part of the protest, and they don't agree with their methods, and probably not with their message either. So they've dissociated themselves, and that was exactly what D. Landing Cole was asking. Why doesn't Thunderfoot dissociate him himself from the various people that are participating that are having extremely vile opinions? And that is the point. Thunderfoot almost never, never more than in passing, and hardly even that dissociates himself from people that want to participate, that have very, very vile opinions. If you look at his latest slideshow of Draw Muhammad Day videos, you will find ample, ample examples of Muslims being portrayed as terrorists. And you know what that is? You know what it is to portray a bunch of Muslims as terrorists? You know what that is? That's guilt by association! That's real guilt by association. Let's just go through the argument. Premise A is B. Premise A is also C. Conclusion, therefore all B's are C's. A person is a terrorist. That person is also Muslim. Therefore all Muslims are terrorists. That is a message that weaves itself through so many of the images in Draw Muhammad Day. It's not even funny. I mean that original image, that image of the bomb-wearing guy? I don't want to censor it because I'm against censorship. But guess what that was? That was guilt by association. That was guilt by association because no, Muhammad was not a terrorist. And no, Muslims who are the spiritual descendants or whatever you want to call it of Muhammad are not terrorists because they happen to share a faith with people who are terrorists. So it is not us, the critics, who are guilty of guilt by association. It is the people that encourage events such as Draw Muhammad Day that are guilty of this by not even trying to dissociate themselves from people that share those opinions.